Hello, everyone. <clears throat> so I'm gonna sit right here for just a moment, wait for anybody that wants to hop on to hop on. Come on, internet. I don't have the best internet, so um, I'm just gonna wait. I'm gonna tag a few of you guys, see if anybody hops on for this live, but welcome everyone. Thank you, Amy, for having me. As you hop on, give me a hashtag sense because I wanna know who's watching with us. And um, I will post this after I am finished so that you guys can go back and watch the replay. So, my name is Serena and I am a director with Sensi. Amy wanted me to come on here and just kind of share some things with you all. So, I'm going to wait just a moment, see if anybody wants to hop on before I get started. Okay. Hi! Okay, let me turn this light down a little bit. My dogs are outside, so if y'all hear them barking, just ignore them. So... <clears throat> hello, hello. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and get started and then everybody else can just hop on when they can hop on. All right, so my name is Serena. I am a director with Sensi. I've been with Sensi for nine months now and I hit director in four months. So I kind of want to talk with you all. Amy wanted me to come on here and just chat and share my story, share why I wanted to join Sensi, and then go over a few things that I've done to get to the point that I'm at, okay? So, um, so let's just start from the beginning. I am directly under Chloe Cox, and I've known her for about nine years. I ordered Sensi, I've ordered Sensi from her for about eight years now, and um, I was actually in another direct sales company and had no intentions on ever joining Sensi. Um, I actually, at the time I was happy with where I was at. I never wanted to be part of Scentsy. I knew I loved their products and I knew that um, I loved Chloe and I just loved being her customer. I had no intentions on doing Scentsy at all, at all, okay? So, um, fast forward a little bit. She never really ever asked me to join Scentsy because she knew that I was already with another direct sales company and, um, but, in the goodie bag, she would send me a little sheet that said, hey girl, do you realize you could have made this X amount of dollars off of the order that you just placed? Um, so that got me to thinking like, man, I, I could actually just join to just make money off myself. But I was scared and I didn't really want to do, I didn't want to commit to Sensi unless I knew that I could like give it my all because I am a person that when I say yes to something, I give it my all and that's just who I am. So I continued to tell her no, I wasn't, I didn't want to join Sensi. I just, I was like, I love being your customer. I don't want to join. So a couple of years ago, um, I, some things had happened with the company that I was with and I just started feeling like I had no leadership. I had no one there for me. Um, I literally had to learn in my last company, I literally felt alone. And I felt like I had to do everything on my own. I felt like I didn't really have a leader. The person I had joined under, she quit three months after I had joined and then I rolled up to another person. They ended up quitting months after. So I never really, in the last company I was with, I never really had leadership until I joined Sensi. And um, I continued to watch Chloe. I continued to watch her stories on Instagram and um, I was seeing that Sensi was changing her life. I was seeing that she was earning all these free trips and she had bought a new place and they were remodeling their house and they were doing all this stuff because Cincy was allowing that. And Cincy was giving them the opportunity to be able to change their lives. And I was like, man, what if that could be me one day? So fast forward now to last year. Um, and I'm going to try not to get emotional while I talk about how I came to Cincy. Um, last year, we lost our very best friend in January. 
last January in 2021. Um, that was very hard. And then, and it was unexpected. And then in February, my husband went to the doctor because he found a lump under his armpit um, weeks after our best friend passed away. And I told him he had to go to the doctor. I was like, you have to go. We don't know what this is. It could be nothing. Um, Amy, are you wanting to be in the video? So we went to the doctor last February and we found out my husband had cancer. And sitting in that doctor's office room, okay, let me add you. Hey girl, Hi. I'm not, I am not trying to get in the middle of your story. I was like, oh no, I was like, hold on a second. My daughter was wanting a snack and all this stuff. I'm not trying to get in the middle of your story. No, I don't want to overshadow fine. that. I'm so, so sorry. Um, <laughs> you're fine. Yeah, yeah, I want to like confess my phone is of course foggy looking. So give me a second. Keep going though. Like okay. this is stuff that I want everybody to hear because you have been so, um, consistent with sharing that part of your story. And I think a lot of us forget that um, everybody's got a struggle going on. So keep talking. I'm sorry. I didn't okay. want to interrupt you. I didn't need to. No, you're fine. Okay. So we fine. found out my husband had cancer in February. And I, mm -hmm. in that moment, I knew that I was not happy where I was. Mm -hmm. And in that mm -hmm. moment, like God literally he just like was telling me, he kept showing me things with Cincy. He kept show, showing me things. Chloe's stories were popping up like way more than they used, used to. And I was dreaming about Cincy. And I, I literally <laughs> did not, uh, yes, I did not want to give up on where I was with the other company because I didn't want to let the girls that was on my team down. But however, they did absolutely nothing. And um, I didn't have leadership in that company. And I felt like I wasn't getting paid what I was worth and I wasn't being acknowledged for all the hard work that I had been doing for seven years in that company. And I was, me and my husband had a talk to talk and I was like, enough's enough. I've got to, I've got to do something. I have to stand up for our family because you're now going through all of this. You're not going to be able to work. Um, you're going to be going through chemo. You're going to be laid up in bed for weeks and I'm going to have to step up. I've got to do something. So um, I remember oh, messaging. Yeah. I remember messaging Chloe late March and was like, I want to join Cincy. And she's like, what? <laughs> are you for real? I'm like, yeah. She's like, I'm going to crap my pants right now because I've always <laughs> wanted you to join Cincy. Um, but I never asked you because I knew that you were already with another company and I would never do that. So we set up a party. She's like, you don't need to buy the $99 kit. You've already been ordering for me for years and there's no point. So she set up a party for me in late April and um, my I was so excited. I was telling everybody, like, this is my launch party. I'm going to be joining Sensi. So if you support my party, like you're supporting me because I'm going to be able to flip that and do Sensi. Within the week of partying, literally within a couple of days, my party had already hit over $500. And then by the time the week was over, my party was almost at $2,000. So we closed out my party, we flipped it, and of course the PRV went to me. And I started off strong. And I started off strong because Chloe really didn't do anything in my party. I was already messaging people. I was sharing all things that I loved about Cincy in my own party. And I went live in my own party. If I'm telling y'all, if you are scared to go live, you just need to do it anyways. Because if you're scared to do something, do you... Yeah. You, if you're scared, greatness is going to come out of that. I promise you. It scares me to death to do lives like this for trainings, but I do it anyways because I know that it's what I'm supposed to do. And, um, yeah. your story is very I important. Joined, yeah, I joined Cincy because my family deserved a better life and they weren't getting that with what I was currently doing. And I 
wanted to feel like a breadwinner. I wanted to, I didn't want to feel like my husband was the only one, you know, doing stuff for our family. I was tired of that. So that is my why. And I want to be able to buy an old farmhouse. That is my dream with Sensi. I want to be able to do that or buy land and build, but that is, that is, that is what I want. And, um, I know that Sensi is, is it for me. This is my home. I, since joining Sensi, um, things have just happened that I can't even explain, but I know that it's happened because I have not given up on myself. I continue to believe in myself mm -hmm. and I continue to believe in other people that are part of my team now. Um, so I'm going to be honest with you guys because I get asked all the time, like, how do I have so many girls on my team? I think we have like 58 right now and I've only been with Cincy for nine months. I have not asked one person to join my team. I have not had to do that because I'm real. I'm honest. I talk in my stories all the time. Um, if you don't have Instagram, you need to create one and you need to link your Instagram to your Facebook because you're killing two birds with one stone. Um, you need to be talking about, of, you, yeah. Yeah. No, you're, you're good. Um, I, I want to ask, I only have two questions that I want to ask and then that that's that's like you got the floor girl how did okay. you get such a following because that is going to be the first question that all my teamies are going to ask you've got over a thousand followers how did that I, how was that your hi Natalie you're fine how um how would how did that start well I already had kind of like a big customer base, but I'll be honest, and I didn't do hardly anything with Instagram until I joined Cincy. And mm -hmm. I think by me just being who I am and sharing so much about my life, my personal life with Cincy, um, people were seeing that. And I've seen, I started doing reels, which I've never done before. I learned that from Chloe. And I will tell mm -hmm. you, when you do a reel, I get over a thousand views every single time. Um, We're going to, I don't know if that's how, like, video. yeah, me too. I haven't mm -hmm. done one today. Um, so not only that, but Chloe, God, she's amazing. Um, I remember when I hit director <laughs> four months in, she's like, you're going to do a live training. And I'm like, Oh my gosh. Okay. And then she was I think that helped me because she kept telling people, you need to go follow her. Like she's doing stuff that I never did. And like, you just need to follow her, see what she's doing, see how she's posting, um, see, see how she's interacting with people because what she's doing is working. She's getting people that are following her. She's getting people that like want to join her team that she's never even talked to before. So I think that's just because I've been myself, I've been, authentically me I'm I try to always share my like show my face with products instead of showing pictures um I'm still waiting on my packages of all the new stuff that hasn't been uh -huh. shipped yet I'm so mad me too, girl. <laughs> me too I'm waiting on my stuff too uh Natalie with reels girl just YouTube how to do it that's legit how I've learned how to do so much with Cincy I've YouTubed everything everything <laughs> Because yeah, I didn't know how. Conversation some too. I'm gonna kind of do a little video on what I do, but my stuff's basic, so like, like it's minimal. Yeah. But it's there, and yeah, you're right. Right. The last reel that I had had, um, I think it hit 1k today. It was a couple of days ago, but I've had reels that have had 4,000 views. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah. <clears throat> so my my other question that I wanted, and you were kind of hopping on this, but you had mentioned. You had mentioned something, the following part of things. And I was like, oh, I want to, I want to scoot in real quick. Um, but you were already kind of moving towards this next question. Why is it important to build a team? This is a incentive period right now for mm -hmm. everybody to recruit. And oh, when I say yeah. recruit, I don't really like that word, <laughs> but yeah, like the share the opportunity and the community and what it's about. And as another, as another director, what is your personal like feelings and feedback and why everybody on here needs to start building a team like well you were, i mean you were you... starting on the bat with building a team in your launch party you were building yeah. a team already so like what's your 
I think for me, like I was just sharing, I always share my excitement with about Sensi and like how it's a Christian based company. I love that. And how the owners of our company, they're just real and authentic and they're not shady. I like the last place I was at, they were shady. Um, but I just like share my journey all the time and women like i just talk to people i'll get on my phone when i do stories and i just talk like like you have to be a part of this if you wake up every day and you don't love your job that you're going to and you want to make some extra money or whatever like you have mm -hmm. got to come and join my team because we are on fire right now and like i am a leader that continues to um, believe in the girls that are on my team. I show up every day. I'm consistent every day. Um, you have to show up. You have to be consistent because if you're not, your team's not going to do that. Girls are not going to want to join your team if, if you're not talking about it. Um, and I knew if I wanted to be a superstar director one day, I needed to recruit quickly. Um, so, and that's how I think I hit director in four months because I just, every single person that came to me literally was like you just seem so genuine and i want to be a part of who you are like i need to be on your team because you just help me feel things that no one's ever made me feel so you just have to find what is your uniqueness that you can offer to other people mm -hmm. and that's that's really all i do i um have a team chat and I talk to my girls every single day. I get on there in the mornings and this is something I do. Not everybody may agree with this, but I tell them what our PRV goal is every single morning. And my team, we sold $1,100 yesterday. Nice. And our, our goal was only 500. So we have great days like that. And then some days we're like behind a little bit. Yeah. But, but not the day to make it up. Mm -hmm yeah so they see me showing up and every time someone gets an order in my team chat they are calling themselves out like hey i just got a 28 dollar order hey i just got a hundred dollar order so we're in there That's like, something our team could do heck yeah yeah that we're in there like you go girl you're on fire you're rocking it and when we book parties we're telling each other we're booking parties when we sponsor someone we do a sponsor in the chat so i think that the reason my team has grown so much and is where it's at is because we're just like a very tight team we share everything with each other um when someone's having a heart like there's one girl that's a complete rock star on our team but she has covid and strep throat at the same time so she is like been under the weather all week and her, you know so we're all stepping up to help the girls under her but we're just all there for each other um so i think that that's why people want to be a part of my team because i'm sharing that in my stories like my team is on fire today like they are booking parties they are you know they're inspiring me they're coming up with new new ways of doing things so i love i love my team like so hard and they know that and i try to help each one of them any way that i can i know i can't talk to every single person every day but through that chat i can because they all can see it um and even the girls that are not directly under me like they are coming out and wanting to do one-on-one -on -one calls with me like they are messaging me wanting help on certain things and i think that shows a lot because you have a lot of teams that people are scared because they're new or they don't want to talk to the person at the top because they're afraid they don't have time for them you have to right. be a different leader show up anyways absolutely. um yeah. absolutely that's we're here. here we're here yeah. i'm in this office with little Alana, with little genie back there like i'm a person i'm real yeah. yeah um natalie so i have natalie i have a team page that i post like certain things like if i make a new label i post it in there so they can see it and if they need to use it they can um i post in there i go live in there a couple times a month i'll show like what i'm putting in my goodie bags for the month or um i'll post i'll do team trainings in there i do one team training a month now and then like many lives in there on other things whether it be like believing in yourself or being consistent or whatever and then i am starting a leadership training where it's just for girls on my team that are leading above 
um, because I'm trying to get my leads and above to get to director. That's the whole point of this. Um, if you want to be a superstar director, you've got to like think outside the box. And my Chloe's amazing. I just had a one-on-one -on -one with her yesterday. I do one-on-ones with her like every couple months and she just helps bring insight about things that I never even thought that I ever thought of really. Um, so I definitely recommend y'all doing one-on-one -on -one calls with your upline for sure. Like tell her I need to do a one-on-one -on -one call with you. Um, I do either FaceTime or phone calls. It's their preference, what they want to do. And we have action plans that they fill out like their action plan for PRV, their action plan for recruiting. Um, like I want to know what activities they're doing to recruit. Um, what did they get from what they're doing? Like how effective was, um building their team list or whatever like what did they get from that um and then the result of that leadership and then self-care too i want my girls i tell them all the time take time for yourself do not work since 24 hours a day yeah you've got to take time for yourself um i turn my phone off or silent at four o'clock um because i'm still working Cincy but I'm not in there like answering every single question that they have. Right. Um, You're working customer sensi. Yeah. There's a difference. So, your business hours reflect more on your team than they do for the yes. customer aspect of it. Yes. 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 Absolutely. And then even with customers, if they have like a question and I'm watching a movie with my husband, I'll look at it and I'll try to respond. But if I'm doing stuff with my family, I'm like, well, I'll just get back with them tomorrow. As soon as I can. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. So, um, for my, I know you wanted me to talk about high PRV tips. Um, mm -hmm. The way that I have gotten high PRV, booking parties. I, minimum for me is eight parties a month. Um, I try to book eight to 10. Mm -hmm. um, that's just my own personal goal because I am a director now and I want to be a superstar one day. So I've got to go over and beyond what they say. I know they say two is minimum, but not for me. My girls on my team, I tell them four, four parties a month, at least four parties a month. So I kind of push them a little bit and they're okay with that. They like, trust me, they know that I'm yeah. never going to ask them to do something I'm not willing to do. Right. That and, um, from the yeah. Right. And then another thing I talk about Cincy club as much as I possibly can, because Cincy club is free PRV monthly by monthly or quarterly because it's someone you don't have to go out and ask for that uh since the club we get prv from them signing up to do it and i'm trying my goal is two a month trying to get two new people every month to do since club i have 10 right now i had way more but all those people are now part of my team so yeah um, same i had now, 14 at one time absolutely yeah, so now That's i'm down to 10 do. and i'm like yes you know, Get their obsession, then yep. make them join club, and then make them join the team. Absolutely. Exactly. Absolutely. Yeah, because once they're doing club, you can be like, well, you know, you can make money off of all of that mm -hmm. and just yep. have that conversation. Don't just come out and be like, hey, girl, you want to join my team with someone you've not really talked to in months? You kind of got to like, hey, girl, yep. like, I know you've ordered from me a couple times. How about book a party with me and try and earn free and half off Cincy? And then once they do that and they have a good party, then you can talk to them about, well, what about doing like Cincy Club? You know, we just came out with spring and summer and you can add your favorite bars to that. Then once they're doing mm -hmm. Cincy Club for a couple months, kind of talk to them about how they can join your team and make money off their own club orders. That is mm -hmm. what I've done. And that is how I've gotten so many girls on my team. Um, and my, my girl that just hit director last month, that's under me. She's my first director under me. She was my second person that joined my team. She had no intentions at all of building a team. She legit called me and said, okay, I'm going to join your team because you've got me obsessed with Cincy. Um, and I don't mm -hmm. want you making the money off my own orders. So I'm going to join your team, but do not, do not bug me about like doing any more than just my own orders. I'm like, okay, I won't. She joined two weeks later. She was having girls messaging her wanting to buy. And then now she has a team of like 22, but she's personally sponsored seven or eight. But 
<laughs> she's a rock star. She's doing amazing. And yeah. she just messaged me and was like, girl, I just got my paycheck and wow. <laughs> so I'm um, telling you recruiting changes your whole mindset of this business. That first exactly. recruit, all of a sudden you've, you've got that, like that, uh, what is that called? Um, your partner, your accountability partner. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden you start seeing it change and you're, you look, you've learned with your team too. Like, even though you've been yeah. buying since for almost a decade, you, you're still, you're still learning. Um, you learned with those first few teammates, a lot mm -hmm. of the background of Sensi together. Yeah. So you've built that community and that's really important. That is so. Yeah. And I'm still learning cause I still feel brand new. Um, cause I've not even been doing this a year. So when they ask me questions and I don't know how to answer it, I don't run to Chloe. I look it up. I go to my workstation. I'll look it up on Google. Yeah. So I'm trying to teach my team to do the same thing because I just want y'all to know as leaders, we are not just sitting back, like doing absolutely nothing. We are working our butts off. I promise you we are, at least I am. <laughs> and sometimes if we don't get back to you, it's because you're asking questions that you literally can go look up on your website or workstation. Mm -hmm. Especially if you have someone asking you about a scent that you have no clue about. Like someone asked the other day, what, this lady wants a scent that smells like some ride at Disney. And I'm like, well, I have no idea. So I said, go Google it. She Googled the ride. She found out the scent that they have going through that ride. And she typed in the words and she found some scents that we have that are similar to that. So just remember that um, hey, no questions are dumb, but like try to look up things on your own. I'm trying, you need to be a little bit more independent too. Um, and I'm mm -hmm. trying to teach my team that too. And I don't ever go to Chloe. It's I hard. don't go to her and ask her anything anymore because I know she's super busy. Um, unless it's just something that I have no clue about now. When I first joined and I was closing out my first party and I knew we were coming out with something new that day, I'm like, okay, I need to add this, but I have no clue what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. She helped me. So yeah, I help. I help my girls when they first join a lot. And then when they, within like three months, they should be good in the hang of things. Um, that's that's there's tons start. of new, yeah. yeah. That sensational start is kind of the cutoff. That's not that I don't mm -hmm. want to love on you, but I got to keep focusing on more and more and more. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and, by, and at the end of that 70 days, the goal is for them to already, to be a leader, to yes. try to be, to get them to that goal, to be a leader. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. Anyway, I'm not trying to interrupt you. So, so yeah, just book part for high PRV book parties. Talk about Cincy Club and follow up with people. I cannot tell. I'm going to tell y'all something. So, uh, Chloe was not the first person I ever bought Cincy from. I bought from a girl that I went to school with. I bought from her three times. She did not one time thank me. She did not send me a thank you note. She did not say thank you on Facebook. She did nothing. So, I'm like, okay, well, she doesn't care that I'm ordering from her and I'm not going to support her anymore. So somehow Chloe came about and from the moment I was ordering from Chloe, she was thanking me. She was texting me. She was sending me goodie bags. Not that y'all have to send goodie bags. That's just an extra something. Okay. Cause not all of us can afford that. But because she did that with me, I knew when I joined, I knew that I needed to show customer appreciation. It goes so far. Um, I, every time I get an order, I thank that person on Facebook. I say, thank you. I take a screenshot of what they order and I post that because I want other people to see what they bought. Yes. I see that you do the screenshot of the, I never thought to do the dashboard screenshot. I always like go on Pinterest and find photos, but I mean, that's mm -hmm. even more like an authentic kind of way to post too. I kind of like, yeah. That. Anyway. Or if I have a picture of myself with some of the products they ordered, yeah. I'll post that too. Um, we can't have all of it. I mean, we can. Right. We can, but. Right. Ooh, yeah. That's lots of scentsy. It is. I have a lot. <laughs> I, so have much. A, I have a lot too. I, <laughs> the girls come over and they're like, I'm going to rage her. What you got going on? I was like, that's mine. <laughs> no, that's mine. <laughs> right. That's right. Yep. So just remember that with PRV booking parties, if you want recruits, if you want PRV booking parties is where it's at. I booked a party for a girl. Um, she did a party with me and a person in her party actually joined my team. And then 
last month, the girl I booked a party for just joined under her because they're best friends. So booking parties matters. Um, not all parties are going to do amazing. So that's why I try to book eight to 10 parties a month because half of those probably are not going to hit 200. Yeah. So I need at least four good parties a month that are going to be 200 right. or more. So that's why I kind of and book and more. And your PRV goal is important at the end of the, mm -hmm. at the beginning of the month for when I first joined, I was like, oh, I'm, I'll be okay if I hit 500. My goal is 3K. That's 25 to 3K yeah. is my personal goal. I need it more than that. I need it more than that. Um, yeah. But your your PRV goal is going to be your motivation to book the parties. Oh, and yeah. If your first party flops, or if your first party of the month flops, it's okay. You're going to have other yep. parties. And, yep. you know, what flopped about it? What do you feel flopped about it? Because... I've have I've loved my I love all my teamies, but I can tell you there are some that have said, Well, my parties don't do well, so I don't really know what to say. And I'm like, Okay, well, let's work on it. Let's find out why. Yeah. Yeah. So, exactly. They're not all gonna do wonderful. And with my PRV, I have my own like breakdown of where I wanna be. On the first of every month, I want two hundred on the first day. I want five hundred by the fifth. And by the 15th, I want 2000. That is my goal every single month because by the 15th, if I have 2000, then the rest of the month, I know that I, I put a goal between three and 4,000. That is my PRV goal every month. Yeah. And um, I hit it every month. Um, yes, one day I hit annual sales. She hit annual yes, sales. Last I hit month. annual sales yeah. last month and yeah. I joined, let's see, I joined in May. And it had started in April. So I hit it before, I don't even know how many months, seven months in or something mm -hmm. um, for annual sales. I'm about to hit annual mentor. I think I need Yay. one more person to certify and then I'll be, I'll have annual mentor. Um, I hit shooting stars. As soon as I joined, I hit shooting star and certified because my partner yeah, did so good. Part. Mm -hmm. And then I had my first person joined me within like a couple of days after I joined. And she's going to be my next director. She's on her way. She's a star oh. consultant right now. And i um, super excited about that. So her goal is superstar consultant this month. So I can tell you, don't, don't think that someone that joins your team, even if they say they don't want to build a team, don't count them out. Yeah. Because I've had so many people on my team that I thought, oh, well, they're not going to do much. And now they're like my, some of my top, people on my team because yeah. they're just doing amazing so i had a girl that joined last month and her prv has been over a thousand since she joined um she hasn't sponsored yet but she is on her way to sponsoring so that is that um let's see we already talked about why it's important to build a team another thing that i do is i do a lot of voice messaging you guys i don't do a lot of text or writing out text so when i message my customers. I'm voice texting them on Facebook. I'm voice texting them through um, text messages. Um, I use the Amy app or AMI. I don't know yeah. what it's called, but that is my follow-up I think they system. call it Amy. Yeah, I think it's Amy. So if you are not using mm -hmm. Amy, it's $8 a month, or you can pay um, a, the yearly upfront, but I just do mm -hmm. $8 a month that comes out when we get paid. And it is legit the best. I Every time I follow up, I at least get a couple orders just because I followed up with them. Um, mm -hmm. And it shows that you care about them because it literally, Amy yeah. literally gives yeah. you the words to say. And it, when they order and it does a follow up, it legit tells them like, hey, I'm so excited that you ordered Coastal Sunset Cleaning Bundle. Um, let me know when you get it in. And then It'll do another follow up in like a couple of weeks because it knows that it shipped. And so it'll do another mm -hmm. message for you to send them. So I love the Amy app. It is definitely like the best follow up system. I mean, I have things that I've printed out and stuff, but I always go back to that. I use Amy every day. Um, and it gives you tasks to do every day, which I love. And then pen and paper. Y'all need this yeah, has been a game changer for me. You need to write down mm -hmm. the things that you want to do every day. If you want to change your business, you need to write down tasks that you need to do every day. I put go live every couple of days. 
I, um, Tuesdays and Thursdays is my team days. So those are the days that I either do one-on-one -on -one calls, coaching calls, or I'll go live for my team. Mm -hmm. Um, and it's also like my mail outs I'll do on Tuesdays and Thursdays. I kind of do mail outs almost every day because I do a little bit at a time because it kill my back kills me. <laughs> um, but um, yeah, just you got to get in a routine. I didn't do that at the beginning, and I've started doing that, and it keeps me, it holds me accountable for what I need it to really do. Does. Um, I write down when I book parties and who's booking a party with me so that I don't forget. And then it helps me to, you know, come in contact with them. Um, there are a ton of resources out there for you guys. Literally, like, Cincy gives us a golden platter when we join. And I know that it may seem overwhelming, but just do a little bit at a time. If y'all yeah. have not watched OG Boss Babes on yes. um, YouTube, Guide to Growth, go is watch it. Guide to Growth. Videos several times on here. Yeah, that has changed my business, and that is why I'm where I'm at. I'm telling y'all, you have to do trainings. You have to listen and watch trainings. Take some time out of your day and turn your phone off or use your phone to watch the trainings yeah. and do it. I have been going back and watching other trainings and if you're not training, you're not like building your brain to right. seeing other things that you can do for your business. Absolutely. Um, I come up so, with new ideas every time I watch a new training. I come yes. up with new ideas and then it's like, <laughs> my downfall is I'll have this great idea and then I'll get distracted and then something will happen. And I'll be like, okay, I need to go back to this great idea. And sometimes I don't finish those great ideas. Yeah. So, but yes, training is important. Yeah. You learn so much and you learn so much from multiple people. Yes. I have several people on this team that are like, well, I've connected with you and I, and I want to, I want to follow you and I want to do you. And I'm like, Oh gosh, there's so many other leaders. I don't, I'm one person. I'm one person mm -hmm. with only so many ideas in here. Yeah. So I'm always sharing other leaders on here. I've always, I've always told everybody, Oh my gosh, go follow our superstar directors. Go follow yes. all of them. They Go are superstar Serena. for a reason. Yes. I I follow all of them. I follow I Whitney Hebel. Yeah. Um, Amber Ryan. Yes. No, Katie Lassner. Katie. Um, Ray Ray. Ray Ray Anderson. Like, go follow them mm -hmm. because they didn't get there because Tinkerbell came and put magic fairy dust on them. Like, they have literally worked their butts off to get to where they're at. And, and they, they they connected with another leader somewhere somehow. Yes. And they what is Chloe? They all say the same thing: go follow and do what successful people do. Go yes. do what successful people do. Go follow them. Go get ideas off their yep. stories. Go you you. I posted something on my stories, and I saw that you had shared the same thing. And I was like, see, we're it's we're all sensey, but we're all authentic. Yeah. We all do our own thing. And somebody yeah. is going to see what I post and somebody else is going to see what you post. Mm -hmm. So, you know, share your babies, share your pets, yeah. share your home renovations, share your story, share your story. If you, if you're having a struggle in your life or if you're in the best time, y'all, I've said this, Serena doesn't know this, but I'm in the prime of my life. I'm not prime. I hope not, but happiest I've ever been. I've been married for almost 10 years. This is the happiest I've ever been. And it's funny. I went to the doctor like three months ago and we had COVID uh, a little over a year ago. We got really bad sick and our weight just, my husband and I just, whoop, and I got really nervous to go to the doctor and she laughed because she was like, honey, if the weight is all we got to worry about, she's like, your blood pressure is great. Your sugar levels are amazing. She was like, your skin is glowing. Are you pregnant? And I was like, no, I'm just really happy. And she was like, weight will come off. Yeah. And she said, she like, weight will come off. She was like, you just take that double chin and you just walk with it right now. But I, this business will change your life. It yes. will change your life. If you just, if you share it and you talk about it, people will gravitate towards that. And they'll be like, okay, what is she doing that I'm not doing? Mm -hmm. And I'm like smelling on these waxes. There's something in the wax. There's yep. something in those whips. <laughs> I literally whips. just made, and I don't say this to brag, but I just made the biggest paycheck when we just got paid. I just made the biggest paycheck. And I can tell you, I cannot go. I've been a manager for Walmart. I've been a manager for Target. I have never made this type of money ever. And awesome. my husband 
has never believed in network marketing ever. We've been married, oh my gosh, hold on, let me, almost 11 years. And um, he's never believed in any other company that I've done until since he, because he's seeing that I'm getting paid what I'm worth. He's seeing that yeah. my hard work is paying off and he's seeing that women actually want to join my team and actually want to work. Um, yeah. It's not really work for me. It's I get up every day and I enjoy what I do. I love sharing right. Cincy because the products right. are amazing. The, the culture uh -huh. with this company is amazing. You guys, I'm telling you, you are not going to get this culture anywhere else. I've been there. I've been, I've done that. And the culture's not there I anywhere have else. I have too. Yeah. I have too. And it does, it is no, it doesn't. Yeah. It doesn't. And it's important. It's important that we all talk yeah. to each other and that we leadership all do more. Is huge. Um, you got, you just need to connect with some people because leadership is big. I did not ever have that. And I think that that's why I, I was successful in my other business, but I just had girls that didn't want to work in my other business. And I had a huge team. I had over a hundred girls on my team at one time, but they weren't doing what they needed to do. They didn't believe in themselves. Right, and yeah. I wasn't getting the leadership I needed. So I, I lost my belief in that company. And because of Sensi, like because of Chloe, I have that belief because I all I've always had a support system since I joined this company. There's been so many just like you that have reached out and like seen my story and and just said, Oh my gosh, you are inspiring people you never knew you were inspiring. And I've never heard that before. Um, and I just know that that's God working because I've never been able to share my story and what I've went through to get to where I'm at. And I know that it's God's work and I love it. <laughs> I yeah. love waking up and doing something every day. 100%. I mean, I pray over my business every day. I pray over, oh, I pray over all the things, but there are days yeah. that like HG, I mean, she and I are, we are, that's my four-year-old. She is a sassy little thing. She'll come up here because you heard her name. She is sassy and she doesn't, she, the other, I, in my stories yesterday, it just so happened that she's over here messing with testers. You know how many times I told my little child, girlfriend, please stop messing with testers. Baby, don't break them. Baby, don't do this. She ain't gonna listen to me. She's not going to. But what warms my heart sometimes is when this little four-year-old goes, mommy, can I be a scentsy lady like you one day? I was like, heck yeah, you can't live in my house, but heck yeah. That's like a yeah. to get you out and go to college. Kidding. But like, those times that there she is she's up here um there's times where like i have to like breathe and i want i want to sit at work but i also i'm a stay-at-home mom with her because since he lets me be home with her there are times that i have mm -hmm. to remind myself that i am working my business by spending time with my daughter because that's mm -hmm. what since he's allowing me to do this is me working my business as well taking stories and pictures of her and loving on her and just showing that we get to spend this time together with mommy and daughter as i told her i put her in front of a movie and gave her some snacks but you know that didn't work mm -hmm. out long but like that that is working your business sharing your stories working your business popping yeah. in those stories 10 to 15 stories minimum a day is working your business i get comments from people all the time that i don't know I don't know them, yeah. but you better believe I talk back to them. I message them back. I talk to them. I, yep. I answer questions. I haven't had any of them join my team, but we're going to work on that. Right. But, but yeah. Right. Anyway. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, yes, this is our time. Incentive time. We've got an incentive. March 31st is the cutoff to, to get to let's build this team. Let's, let's work more yeah. and let's, um, and I don't mean work as in pressure yourself and push yourself, but yeah, let's, motivate and let's like and get that that personality of i'm gonna do this and we're gonna do this we're gonna yep. get it done that's right yep oh. ah, <laughs> here she comes i didn't think she'd be out i didn't think that she would last long but she did well she did good we were watching scooby-doo there was a ghost on scooby-doo yeah with kiss with kiss scooby-doo and kiss i'm not sure my four-year-old <laughs> I want to watch that. Oh, okay. I like Scrappy. Yeah. But yeah. yeah, maybe we'll get Scrappy. Maybe someday they'll do Scooby because they are Warner Brothers. So, uh, does he have um, kids? 
she does. They're I in school. Do. Yeah. yeah, they're in school. Yeah. That's I have why a 10-year-old and a 4-year-old. Oh, my you do have, oh, so you have a 4-year-old? Yeah, he's in preschool. They started him this year. They, um, he has, he has speech issues, and he was going to speech therapy, and they're like, do you really think he needs to start preschool? Um, this was in December, and I'm like, that okay. So he's doing Mom, so much better. I'm doing tippy toes. That's good. That's I'm good. doing tippy toes. You're doing tippy toes. Well, that's great. <laughs> so I knew I knew that. I, I, I was able to keep her down there as long as I could. So she did good. She did really good. She did do so, good. Um, I don't want to cut. I don't want to cut you off. I just know there there will be no more talking after this. <laughs> this is that fine. disruptive like craziness that little ones bring to the table that you love to pieces but it's like gosh i want to get something done um yes. but i'm glad to have this distraction this is the distraction yes. i'm glad to have so. exactly okay. yeah if well, anybody ever if y'all have any questions or anything feel free to reach out to me i'd love to help you guys um if you have questions or anything just believe in yourself you've got this you can do this don't compare yourself to anybody else um no. Comparison is you're, the you're where you're at for a reason, and wherever your whatever your dream is with Cincy will come true. You just have to believe in it and just work to get to where you want to be. Absolutely, absolutely, one hundred percent. Well, thank you so much you're for welcome. hopping on here. Her <laughs> We're gonna hop off. Um, I really do appreciate it more than you know. You're hop welcome. on here and just talk about talk about our love language. Mama. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, she knows what those are. She has her own testers. Yeah, she does Cincy too. And they're different smells. Different smells. <laughs> <laughs> and we can for all day. Oh, right. Okay. Do you want to say bye? No. <laughs> no. This is how it's gonna be. <laughs> okay. Well, I, I like I said, I really appreciate you hopping on here. I'm gonna message you after this, but um. Okay. Absolutely. Go follow yeah. Serena. Everybody, go follow her. <laughs> Hop on her Instagram and her Facebook and go follow her. She's going to get even more than a thousand. I hope that you have a great rest of your day. Thank you. You too. Bye. Bye.